we made her to Worthington. We're just kind of chillaxing, waiting, listening to these yahoos holler at each other. So we uh, got a lot of cars here tonight, so it'll be a uh, be a good field of cars. So we're out in the normal spots, and then there's only probably a couple that we normally know. We got some people from out of town, some guys from Arizona across the way. Yeah, so we got some good cars here tonight. Uh, it's night one, basically, of this week-long adventure. Tomorrow night will be another night here at Worthington to start off the Midwest Madness Tour. So we got uh, the family along, we got the wife, we got the Peace! So, be a good time. So we're just uh, chilling here. We got about an hour before hot lap start, so we'll be kind of just tinker on some things and be be uh, be ready to hit the track. So.
wasn't wasn't quite the night we wanted. We got a little <clears throat> little damage going on. Doors caved in. Door bar. Uh, we're guessing we probably got something bent in the front. I'm just I don't know, guessing. So uh, I'm guessing the toe is in. Yeah, maybe not. Not too bad. So and you can see there. Sail panel pretty good. And this was running lap one, corner one. So we're all crunched on this side too. So a little bit of straightening. So the race are still going on. We're gonna start tearing this apart and then we're gonna get set up for the night and uh, go up to the concert. Uh, Cody Hicks is playing tonight here, so it'll be a good, good time. Uh, I don't know where I sent my cup down, but but yeah. So we're gonna bang out some panels and try and get her fixed up and ready for tomorrow. Is this on? I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. We're going up to watch some racing. It's so dusty and dry. I got stuff in my eye from the grandstands and the oh hold on pause all right we finally got Derek put on the trailer and we are going to be heading up to the grandstands now watch the race and it sounds like stock cars are going right now i think the mods are after them if not uh soon and then the hobbies end up the night so we're gonna go up watch them for a buddy's race and see how they do if you need it. Yeah. You're gonna make this one? I just made one. Yeah. Hey, is there instructions? <laughs> hey, you're gonna be on my YouTube, by the way. No, when you spun out. Oh, you, you go by, it? I'm like, hey, that's my neighbor. He's oh, it shut off. <laughs> well, we drew. 73 out of 100 so we got some work to do tonight we uh got everything put back together had some fun last night but we got everything put back together door is a little dinged up port panel's good seal panel's back being good so we should be should be good to go who over here banging trying to record a video guys um not only are they banging around 
down, but I got it. Big interview going on over there with Colby Fett. He won a big $5,000 show here earlier this, well, earlier this last week, Monday, Tuesday, out of Park Jefferson. So. so he's got some interviewing going on, but we're about 10 minutes, or not 10 minutes, about 20 minutes away from the pit meeting. And we're first up tonight. And uh, we'll be uh, ready to rock and roll.
Well, it's Monday. We just got done doing a two day stint up at Worthington. Um, we are getting ready to head to Clay County Speedway here tonight. Um, I'm the Don Spencer, so um, just wanted to kind of do a little summary on how our weekend went. Um, I didn't, I don't think I filmed a whole lot on Saturday, but we had, uh, as you can see, I had to pull off in the heat race. The motor kind of sputtered and popped a little bit, and then I kind of felt it was down on power. And sometimes that just means there's like a push rod or a rock arm or something that's acting up. So uh, without trying to damage it anymore, I just pulled off. We did manage to find it. We fixed it. Got everything tightened back up. That rock arm actually fell off. So uh, we got that fixed. We went uh, out for the feature. And uh, with... There was a disqualification in our heat, actually. Uh, O'Reilly was a little light on the scales. He actually finished ahead of me because I pulled off. But he, um, with his disqualification, we ended up uh, getting scored fourth, which put us in the invert. So we were able to start, uh, it was either seventh or ninth, I think. I can't remember. But anyway, we, we made it into turn one. Yeah, I think the video shows it, but uh, we made it into turn one. That's it. So we didn't make her to turn two. Um, when I turned around, I thought it felt like the right front was down. And then when I was going on the back stretch, I thought the left rear was down as well. So, because I got kind of popped in the left rear. Um, and also popped in the, or hit the right front pretty hard. So, um, believe it or not, it was just mostly cosmetic. Um, I did not, in fact, have any flats. Um, was probably pretty upset I didn't pull to the work area and have someone look it over. Um, I was just kind of upset um, with everything that transpired that night. So I just wanted to be kind of done for the night. Now it's not a good attitude to have, and I, I feel kind of bad about it. But um, I was just kind of upset. So we threw the window net down, called her, called her night. Um, fixed everything Saturday night. I got, got tore apart. We fixed it. Um, Sunday and here's kind of still you can kind of see a little bit of the the damage that's still there um, we didn't hit anyone last night on Sunday but um, it's still beat up a little bit um, moving forward to Sunday we had everything kind of ready to rock and roll hot laps went well we'll slime in the front stretch had a close call kind of there towards the end um, it was a little slimy getting into turn one, and uh, there was a car underneath me that didn't quite didn't quite uh, get through the slime very well, and thought they were going to hit me. So um, I don't. I think there was a little damage. I don't know. Um, I tried to get out of the way. I kind of seen them coming. So, um, but heat race we started fifth, seventh, fifth, third row inside. I think. Um, and we were able to pass a couple good cars. I thought we had some really good cars in our heat race. Um, the track was kind of like uh, a couple weeks ago when I had led some laps. So um, I kind of felt pretty comfortable in it and was able to uh, pass two or three cars, I think. Um, ended up third, um, right kind of on the heels of second place. Uh, first place wasn't too far ahead. So I uh, felt really confident. Um, made the redraw and my luck is always fantastic at drying so um since last night was draw redry i originally draw uh drew 73 i think for the initial night and then when i redrew for the feature uh there's 12 spots and i pulled 12. <laughs> so <clears throat> excuse me um we did uh start 12th we i think we're up as high as maybe ninth or 10th at one point uh kind of fell back to i think 14th at one point we kind of just clawed our way back and forth um i i screwed myself on a restart um i should have been high and the way the cars were shuffling i wasn't quick enough to count which position i was in and the car ahead of me uh went low and i thought he was actually filling in a spot which he was just going where he should have, and I should have went to the outside of him. I did not. So I lost the spot there. Uh, no fault to anyone besides my own. I just wasn't paying attention. So um, 
but yeah we uh like i said we clawed back a few spots at a time got back to 12th finished 12th so we didn't really gain or lose anything uh track was towards the top it's where the grip needed to be we're used to running on the bottom there that's where i'm pretty comfortable running there um i just could i could get ahead of steam on the guys ahead of me and get near them but then as getting into the next corner of the bottom just didn't have enough to continue it so so we struggled there um but all in all had a good night uh did spin out at the end they scored us the last lap it, they were we had enough restarts so um didn't hit anything didn't hurt anyone uh or hurt anything uh or hit anyone so we um uh, we made her back to the trailer in one piece and uh no damage nothing we really got to fix so we're just cleaning out the radio right now so i was working on we got gears changed um i'm gonna wash some tires get my tires in the tire rack bath and uh get them cleaned up then we'll be heading to spencer but uh it was kind of cool i, I do want to talk about this uh there was a gentleman that came over and asked if i was the guy from youtube which i have a whole whopping 30 I think it's maybe 39 subscribers or something like that. So I don't have a big following by no means, but uh, the gentleman was from Arizona. I think his name was Zach. Um, he come up to run the tour and he was looking for some videos on the tracks up in this area and he found a couple of my videos. So uh, hopefully he learned something from my videos. Uh, I, I flat out told him I'm not no, no great race car driver, but um, we... Uh, we uh we have fun doing it and uh so we talked for quite a while about that and uh it's kind of cool he came over and introduced himself and told me about that so we uh we're pretty pumped about that we met a uh, fellow sport my driver from i believe california chat with him a little bit um we actually kind of did a little trading uh we were wanting to take tires but um it's a long walk for us to carry them so um, the gentleman from California was kind enough to let us use his golf cart in return. We told him to bring some tires and we would change his tires if he needed to. So, um, so that worked out pretty good. And I ended up actually ended up racing against him, uh, most of the race. Um, him and I were kind of marred in that 10th, 12th, 14th position all night. So, uh, we kind of raced back and forth, good, clean racing, good, hard racing. Um, we were next to each other a couple times. So that was, that was fun. Um, I think his name is Adam. I can't remember. I didn't really talk to him a whole lot throughout the night, just a couple times, quick here and there. But, uh, but yeah, I appreciate him helping us out with the use of his golf cart. And, um, in return, we, you know, we we're there in case he needed a tire change. So, um, but yeah, it was a fun night. Uh, a lot of cool things. Uh, met some interesting people and, um, it was a good time. We, we, uh, stayed overnight and, and, uh, went to the party. Uh, after Saturday night's race, that was it was a good time. So uh, I got to chat with a few local drivers and um, just had a good time. So um, yeah, on that note, uh, I appreciate each and every one of you for watching my videos. And it is like I said, it's kind of cool that some people stumble across these that um, are not necessarily from the area. So I appreciate you all watching. Um, we're gonna get finished, get some stuff ready, and uh, we'll have some more content at the next race.